Hello everyone. So today we have an interesting reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to HBO's The Idol starring the princess nipple baby herself, Lily Rose Depp, The Weeknd, my girl Jenny Kim, and I can't remember the actress's name but she was in Bodies, 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 and she played Alice. I loved her in that. Um, from what I've been seeing, The Idol has not been rece receiving good reviews. Um, there's lots of rumors from what I'm, he I'm hearing that there's a lot of sexual violence in the show and that overall is, is just not a good show. I also feel like a lot of the... The negative reviews also revolve around Sam Levinson, who is also the writer of Euphoria. Now, I love Euphoria. Um, was season two as good as season one? No, but I still loved it. I feel like during season two, Euphoria got a lot more viewers, and I feel like a lot of people overanalyze the show, and which I think the show deserves analyzing because it's a very good show. Um, yeah, some people were not vibing with season two, which is understandable. Um, I think even before the show came out, because it took such a long time for the show to come out, like a lot of people were just not feeling it. And there were also, uh, things that were coming about, about Sam Levingston that were not painted in a good light, and it's just made people dislike the show even more. I remember before the show even came out, Barbie Ferreira, she was talking about her character Kat and how Kat basically got no screen time this season, no character development. And if you do watch the show, it's very true. And honestly, justice for my girl Kat because she was one of my favorite characters. And I think a lot of people were disappointed with that. A lot of people were disappointed with a lot of things. But, you know, some writers and directors, they take a creative direction that some people don't agree with, which is fine. There was a lot of over-sexualizing of Sydney Sweeney's character, Cassie. You couldn't watch the the show and not her boobs not be in it, like every other scene, which is... A pattern for Sam Levinson, you can't Google Sam Levinson's name right now without articles coming up about how he victimizes his women characters and over-sexualizes them. There's also this thing where Sam Levinson, he, people say he romanticizes toxicity and he also makes mental health issues seem sexy. I, I do think know that Sam Levinson himself has struggled with addiction and mental health issues. So I think that's something to be considered. But one thing Sam Levinson does do is talk about, you know, the experiences of women. And he isn't the only person, the only male writer and director to do this. There are other male directors who do this, who tell the stories of women who are being, you know, physically and verbally abused or sexually abused and it can come off just weird and icky just men telling the story of women is something that's weird I love Jenny Kim she's my stan so I'm excited to see her in this show I feel like she's not gonna get a lot of screen time I don't know if she's a, a main character or they're constantly just throwing around her name because she's very famous because she's very famous um, but yeah, I'm excited to see her in the show and see the type of character she's playing. And yeah, there's also rumors in the show that there there, there is sexual violence in the idol. Um, so trigger warning, I don't know exactly what type of scenes there are. But yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. I'm probably not going to watch that many episodes. I'll probably watch one or two just to see the type of why people dislike this show so much. Or why people think that Sam Levingston ruins everything he touches. Yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. 
post watch star here there is no sexual violence at least in the first and second episode but there is a bit of an an intense sex scene that involves a knife there's also use of manipulation and talks about mental health issues and self-harm She have on um, a hospital wristband. Is it for the shoot or was she actually in the hospital? <sighs> my girl Alice. But where is my girl Jenny? One thing about Sam Levinson's creations is that they're always aesthetically pleasing, always. Why does she look amputated? Thank you. Is that her butt? Oh, that shot is so pretty. The robe, mm -hmm. the hospital wristband. I mean, are, are we romanticizing mental illness? Absolutely. <laughs> Meta. Literally so meta. I was just saying it. Romanticizing mental illness. Mental illness is sexy. No, it's mental not. Mental illness yeah. is if, sexy. If you live in... That's messed up. That's messed up. I, it's a pretty... Oh, I didn't acknowledge it, but Troy Sivan. I love Troy Sivan. Boobs. To the nudity writer, we only can show the side boob, the under boob, and the side flank. I didn't ask, she did it. I am needing to get off the phone, it's an emergency. What? It's what? It's an emergency, I need you. There's probably like so many contracts and things people have to sign just to do like the smallest things. I mean, showing your boob is not small, but. What? Someone came on her face and then took a photo. You want to get in closer? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Take Jocelyn's phone and hide it from her. Give me her phone. I mean, she hasn't seen that shit, has she? No. Make sure she doesn't. It looks great. <laughs> You'll thank me. of safety am I crazy is that the guy who played in the Adams family like he played Fester or something okay the you fuck know, who did this we don't know but we gotta do it you're brazen little no, minx no, 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 fuck no. I couldn't deal with working with a celebrity or dealing with celebrity drama hi hi, hi. oh tell you hi nikki hello. hello hello you look fantastic you look chic mm. thank you so much <laughs> she was on um, she was in assassination nation i thought he liked that movie No, I think oh, we got prints. We'll find it. Let's just get you ready for rehearsal. Left it literally right there. He's been through a lot. What's disgusting is the fact that people aren't looking at her. <laughs> My girl, Jenny. <laughs> her mother died of cancer, and Jocelyn was there, the morphine and the thing, and holding her mother's hand, oh, yeah. the last breath, the death wrap. I wonder how long has been since her mom passed and like now i'm sure it's been a lot today yeah i'm so nice to meet you i'll <laughs> yeah. see you a little bit later okay. you. is everything okay that's suspicious weird. that's weird Hi. jenny her name is diane what Who i know I that lady from Vanity Fair. At the gate. 
she's gonna drop it on her. Like when she's asking her questions, she's gonna be like, oh, what do you think about this? Hey, one, two, three, four, Where's my girl? Five, sharp, six. Really hit these pictures, dancers. It must so be so weird to be like the dancer instead of being like the main person. Me and Jocelyn have gone through is really unique, but ultimately universal. You know? Look at what she's overcome. You know, the press. Do you guys see those like conspiracy theories of Bernie Spears and her Instagram? I understand like it's not her. Or like they're like go into super detail about her the video she posted like oh like her face glitched or someone took a picture but like she wasn't in the reflection what do you guys think about that have you seen this one how like crazy. a 14 year old girl is gonna buy tickets for this when she's frosted like a pop tart oh yeah oh my god oh, well yeah first of all looks so friends. good I gorgeous babe thank you <laughs> so do you but you you know it. I think I think you should take a break. Diane, take a break. Watch Diane do it. Go relax. Let's watch Diane. In point. I'm just worried she's having another psychotic break. No, but no, she never had no. a psychotic break. Never had yeah, one. Fun. She was just exhausted. She was Josh. tired. Look, see? She's doing great. Hey, honey. Okay. Look at that. Hi. Now, does that look like someone on the verge of a psychotic break? Yes. Exactly. Josh. Let's go. Around the amazing die, yes, exactly. the famous body room. The way I watched so many edits of Jenny's body roll after Coachella, like I'm still watching them to this day. They keep me alive, they keep me thriving. <laughs> Jenny. This whole scene thing is so long. So long. I just had a feeling something was going on. What is it? This just posted on the internet. I didn't think they'd show it. Tomorrow, I want to wake up to uh, like 150 Google alerts telling me Jocelyn's some kind of feminist hero, right? Okay. I feel like this is what um, Chris Jenner does. She just be working overtime. We hit a dance. We hit a fall in love. <sighs> the weekend looks. Crazy. Is that Jocelyn? Hold on. Is that, is that Jocelyn on my That's embarrassing. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. I gotta I gotta can I I gotta have a dance with you. Can I dance with you? His hair looks crazy. <laughs> Literally me. I thought that was Andrew Tate. <laughs> Are they lacing them? Oh God. I hope they're not lacing them. I've never fucked anyone with a rat tail before. I know it like works commercially, but I just feel like Every time I listen to it, I'm like fucking embarrassed. Low key trash. What's wrong with him? He's so rapey. Yeah, I kind of like that about him. Huh? Hey. Bitch, you better be joking. When I was younger, I used to think I was eating when I was singing. Like, I sounded like straight trash. I was singing and then play it back and listen to myself. And I'd be like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I really thought I was eating when I was younger. I feel like everybody did. Like, they really thought they could sing. I'm sorry, I'm sassy. <laughs> I am for real. 
Never meant to make your daughter cry. He looks so creepy. And like his hair looks insane. Yes. Um. Ew. Um. It's giving yeah, Jedi. Uh, his braid. <laughs> his braid is stiff. Why does he look so creepy to me? The scenes in the show are very long. Like, really long. You know, I get it. Like, you want him to look aesthetically pleasing. Like, you want him to look like a picture. So you hold on to the shots for long period of times. But you gotta pick up the pace. Like, not even Euphoria held scenes for this long. Ugh. Hello, Angel. Hello, it's Angel. giving poser. Rich people do coke like it's smoking who got the club. Like they're constantly doing lines in the bathroom now. I always thought that was fake, but that's legit real. Not even just rich people. People be doing it too. The amount of times, like when I was in Europe, and I, me and my friend, we like hung out with these girls, and they literally asked me if I wanted to. I was like, no, I'm okay. And then some girl I was friends with, she was two, and she had asked me and my friend if he wanted to do. I was like, uh, no, I'm okay. I, uh, I did some at home. I I'm good though, thank you. It's really great, but I don't believe that. What? I like the weekend's like. voice. Like I've never him. heard him talk before. I just think you're enough of But I asshole. like his you voice. Tell me the truth. <laughs> I liked it. It was good. It's a hit, yeah. Really? Yeah, I can see why the label wants to put it out. The nun instead. How tall is the weekend? He doesn't look tall. Not is this the first song you recorded after your mother? A mood killer? These scenes are so awkward. But not with me. Feel it. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Okay. No. <laughs> the way I would immediately go into panic mode. Okay, that was episode one of The Idol and it's so sad to say, but I, I can honestly see why people don't like it that much. I first, especially for it to be a pilot, like it, it was not grabbing my attention at all, at all. Like the scenes dragged on for so long and I understand the need to be aesthetically pleasing and you know, to, to stay on shots for a long time. But it just felt like I was just watching people talk like it was just talking about the same thing for a long time and nothing was happening like at all like it was so <laughs> it was so boring it was so boring was it nice to look at yeah but did anything really happen you could probably name like three things that happened in the beginning she was doing the photo shoot and then a scandal came out and then you have the scene at the club where she met the Weekends character. And then the ending scene, where they had their little moment. Literally, that's it. That's all that happened in the episode. Like, nothing was significant or made me want to go on to the next episode. But anyways, we're going to see what episode two is like. Maybe it'll be better than the first one.
people die. All the time. Not empathetic at all. Okay, Nikki, before you make up your mind, will you just listen to it? I'm, I'm really excited I mean, to play for you. <sighs> sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. Those are cute pants. They do not like it at all. Why does she sound like Dua Lipa? That version's, this version is better than the other version. And we spent a million dollars on the goddamn fucking giant strip club for the video that you and uh, uh, Sarah Lawrence here are shooting this week. Okay. No, where am I? Am I and you could have did see? it. See, I get a call. I, 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 I get a call that you are out of your fucking mind, babbling up on the roof, talking to uh things in outer fucking space. Right. George, Barbara George. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you are going for that ride. My suggestion to you. Appear grateful. What did you think of the song? You don't believe in it? You know what I believe in? You. Just release it anyways. It was stupid. I was just excited. No, well, you should be. You know, there's a powerful voice inside you. I want to reach down and pull it out. He's weird, right? It's weird. Getting his tail brain. My sister had my phone. So where are you from originally? I am from They're New York. They're weird. What really are they doing? Like they're from New York. Wow. They're obviously, well, what's his name? Tetros? He's using Jocelyn, right? To get to fame. And her assistant is in the way, so they're using his homeboy to distract her. Um, hopefully I'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, that would be nice. Take care of that voice, try not to smoke too much. I really like The weekend's voice. Hmm? You not hungry? No, it's really good. He's fine. Where you wanna go? Calm down, girl. What do you think? Do you love it? Ew. It's just like, it's not really what I imagined. I don't want to argue about it. I can't have another incident like this. I can't. They're like, I can't afford it. And she obviously needs help. You know how people go to those magic mic shows and there's like women on stage and like the guys are dancing on them, dancing on them. I can never do that. That's just so embarrassing and weird. Sexy, look at her. Well, she's sexy, but the whole scene, I don't know. I think she looks like a really hot woman dancing at a strip club. Right. Yeah, I can do this move a lot better. Oh, and great. this whole beginning part needs to be tighter. I feel like these lights are like really intense. Take your time, don't rush. Maybe it's hard to see when you're looking at me. No, it's not. We can't keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing it until it's right. Stop! Stop it! Joss, we need to see you sing. Your mouth is not moving. Why are you yelling? Okay. Who is that dancer talking to Joss? Right there? Mm -hmm. That's Diane. Cause she's Jenny Kim. It's about the set and shoot tomorrow. Like I really think it'll be better. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Is that Uncle Fester? Cancel today? I'll write a fucking check right now. I really feel like we don't have room for air here, and I just feel like this is gonna be like a fucking disaster, and it's gonna be like really, really humiliating for me. Me, when I tell you, 
I cry for <laughs> for everything. I well, I cry under pressure and stress. Cry all the time. Off the record, I never fucking get a say, an actual say. I just am like, I'm here because I love her. Um, he's a person of color. Um, okay. And what, he's, what, what kind of color? Does he's a person it, of does color. He look Hawaiian. I don't think he. No, his hair is is straight. Girl, that's a perm. Kind of and, you know, that could be Hawaiian. He's, he's not. He's 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 a person of color. <laughs> yeah. Are you saying he's black? You can say black. You're allowed to say black. <gasps> Is he black? He's a person of color. The amount of times I've been in a situation where a person wants to describe a black person and they say everything but say that they're black. It fucking breaks my heart to see her like this. I don't know what this fucking is. I'm really sorry, you guys. I know you guys are tired. Nia, and you gotta give it your all. Cause I'm telling you right now, if you don't, these people are gonna fuck up your career. But if you do, your fans are gonna say, Jocelyn is my motherfucking idol. She looks just All like right, her mom. Alright, lights to one, camera ready, and action! It's a fucking oh, motor slip. I can't see her, I can't see anything. I mean, we have to, you gotta bring cool. the camera down. I would cry. I would cry. This one does kind of eat. Just lie to her. I would just lie to her like... That was a perfect take. Good take, right? I'm sorry, Joss. <sighs> I'm telling you, I would go home and I would cry. Yep, that'd be me. She's done. Why do Oh gosh. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. What is happening? You're not a human, Isaac. Don't forget. You're a fucking star. I'm a fucking star. Mom? What's up, John? What? Mom? Oh. <laughs> Do you know, one time I was working and some, some boy accidentally called me mom. <laughs> Like, I feel like that probably happens to teachers all the time. Like, a little kid accidentally calling you mom instead of calling you your name. She's, so <laughs> she's in pain, she's bleeding her I feet, so her fucking cuts on her legs, everything. Hey, you better. I... I've never done this without her before. <laughs> And you do what you need to do. <laughs> if you want, I would tell all these people to take 10. I love you, Dee. Of course. Aubin, Aubin! You're great, thanks. Will you go get Diane, bring her here? Thanks so much. You sit down, sit down. They're about to stab Jocelyn in the back. I want to be bigger than this song. I want to be a once in a generation artist and I want to make music that lasts longer than my life. Sucks to say but sometimes you gotta do a lot of things that you don't like until you eventually get to the point where you're able to do the things you actually want to do, you know? Hello, Angel. Hi. She ate that up. What are you doing? I'm just with a couple friends. You sure? I'll see you soon. Okay, great. Are they all playing her? So what's going on? She a better fuck than me? Maybe. Nobody's a better fuck than you. Sure. You didn't tell me it was a I support women's rights, but more importantly, I support women's wrongs. I've never been to a place so big. 
pleasure to meet you. Do you mind if I use As your bathroom? As a celebrity, there's probably so many people that are trying to use you to get to where they want to be. Like, how can you even trust people? Like, how do you know when your relationship is genuine? Unless you're on the same level as them. You know Tedros? God, you're stunning. Of course I know Tedros. Everyone knows Tedros. Isn't that a little suspicious? Turn this on. Turn it on! Yeah. Yes. You ever done cocaine? First people are in their cocaine. Uh, not really. Don't do it, Layla. Don't do it. Just do what I do, Layla. Oh, no. I had some earlier. No, thank you. Randomly. Would it not expect him to be into church? No, you'd be surprised. He gives cult leader vibes. The night we meet, we talk about when doves cry. And you got a fucking Prince photo in your house. He knew that. He knew that. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck is that? Ah! What the fuck? Let me ask you. I feel like scenes like this are so awkward to oh, shoot. Yeah, just like that, baby. It'd be easier if I moved in. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, no. I'd like that. She has to be a singer. She's really good. <laughs> She's, She's really, really good. good. <laughs> okay, so that was the Idol episode one and two. Like I said in during after the first episode, it was just a lot of aesthetically pleasing shots, you know, a lot of slow zooms in, a lot of slow zooms out, a lot of tracking in one shot, which is amazing. It's it's nice to look at, like but as far as writing and the storyline being good and interesting, it just doesn't appeal to me like it's a basic story and i feel like nothing is really happening there's just like a lot of sex scenes and a, a lot of yeah a lot of sex scenes and it's not really not that it's not really necessary but it's just like it drags on for so long i do like the actors and the characters themselves but i just feel like Something's missing in the show, and I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the timing of things. Like they need to put more things in the episode to keep a person's attention, because like I said, the like each scene. There's probably like three scenes in each episode, and nothing really happened. The scene during um, the whole photo shoot was very sad like it was really heartbreaking i that was probably my favorite scene like it like it was something that like my eyes were on the whole time and it's a lot of tears from the character jocelyn which a lot of people spoke about which a lot of people spoke about yeah a lot of over sexualizing of her character which was expected i i knew it was gonna happen like there were a lot of a lot of scenes that I, I feel like weren't really necessary yeah i probably won't be continuing this tell me what you guys think of the idol do you think sam Levingston is like going like he reached his peak with euphoria and now it's just like downhill from here or, or what but if you like this little commentary reaction make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment and make sure you subscribe yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry, I'm sexy. Oh, oh, I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry.